Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Ultima 7, The Black Gate. You'll notice that we are back here in uh, Britain, and that's because I want to do something before we go off on our big adventures. So if you remember, we have these special stones that we can mark, and in case we need to get back to Britain, I don't want to have to walk across the entire world. So I'm going to mark one of these stones. We're going to use the green stone. Oh, we'll use the blue. Blue for Britain. All right. So the blue stone I'm going to mark for Britain. I can't type. So I'm just making a note for myself. Um, and so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we're going to cast uh, the... Let's go find the mark spell so mark on the blue stone Kalpor Yelm Elem actually is what that would be so now the virtue stone for blue if we save our game here in our let's play save so now let's say we've gone off somewhere and we're like, oh, we need to get back to Britain. I should be able to open my pack and I should be able to cast the recall spell on the stone. Yes, and get us all back to Britain. So that, that is awesome. So we have a way back here if we get far away have to come back. Now if you remember last episode we decided that it was time for us to head to Minoc which is if you remember way up in the north way up here. Actually I don't know how they think that Minoc is spilling garbage all the way down south. I would think it would go out into the the ocean but hey if that's the, where the pollution's coming from that's where the pollution's coming from. So we need to get to Minoc so we've got a bit of a walk ahead of us we should have plenty of food. Um, I feel like our food supply should still be good. Um, across the board. And again, we have almost a, a full party. Well, we can fit two more people in the party, actually. So we're not, not quite full, but we're getting there. I think, I'm assuming we can have eight companions, because we've been able to have eight in the past. So I'm assuming that's the max party size just off of things that I've remembered. Uh, there is a giant swamp uh, north of Cove. We may have to travel through a swamp. Um, let's see. Let's go this way. I think this is just going to run into a dead end. Remember where that that ogre, or Cy I think it was a cyclops, uh, attacked us north of Cove? Let's go see what's up there real quick because I just want to see... Oh, it's daytime. I just want to see if that is... Um, if that goes anywhere. It looks like it's just a dead end, but let's go be sure before we rule it out. Plus, maybe we'll get a little more combat and not completely freak out like a little child like we did last time we got in a fight because we'll be ready for it with the combat button so here we go again if we see combat we gotta be ready with our finger on the button what's this oh here they come get them guys oh yeah what was this red dot on the ground nothing what do we get for killing him a sling no gold well, that's a waste, but we get a little bit of experience. And plus, we get to check out, again, we're kind of... I think this is going to be a dead end, based on the map. Well, we might as well look. Ah, we got some sheep. Hi, sheepy sheep. We could probably kill the sheep for mutton, but I'd rather not be an animal murderer. Oh, there's another one. Get him, guys! 
Ooh, that guy had a club, but no gold. Uh, ooh, a cave. I hit a button and we went to combat. What cave is this? What is... Where have we ventured into? I'm afraid to go deep into this cave. Because we don't know what we're getting ourselves into at all. Um, let's do this. Let's not. Let's not go into this cave. So, we know there is a cave full of these monsters up here. Somewhere. Something's coming. There we go. Get him, guys! He's not dead. It's not dead. Oh, he's stuck in the mountain. What are we supposed to do about that guy stuck in the mountain? What have we done? We've broken the game. Alright, let's... Who is fighting? Who is fighting up here? There we go. Got him. No gold. Experience, but no gold. That sheep is still alive, though. Um, how's our... How are we looking on arrows? 49, how are you looking? 16, okay. Gotta remember, if we run out of ammo, we might have problems. We do have that boomerang and we have a sling, so we have a backup. Do we go into the cave, folks? That's my question. Do we check this cave out or we, let's stay on point? As best we can. So I think what we should probably do is we've got to go north to Minoc. We've got to figure out how to follow this road. And it looks like we're probably going to have to head through a swamp. And I'm afraid I don't have swamp boots for everybody. So, I'm not sure if we're going to survive this or not. Since we do have just a lack of swamp boots, we're going to have to be super careful, I guess, going through. Because it looks like Back here, before the bridge, where this splits off. Oh! Whoa! There you go, Grug. It looks like this path to the north. Oh! A deer! Look at that! It's a deer! How nice. It looks like this is the path we have to go. So let's go ahead and save. And let's be very careful. Can we get through this without getting poisoned? Most of our party has swamp boots, but not everybody does. If we get attacked in here, who knows what's going to happen. Oh, it's raining. That's good. All right. Woo! Um, I think we have to go to the right. Again, the... Oh, an alligator! Alligators! Stay out of the poison swamp, everybody. Woo! Alright, we're doing okay in combat. Uh, that alligator has nothing. This alligator has nothing. Alright, where we're trying to get to... Um, I think we're following this road to the right. And I'm trying to get to here. Or up through this mountain pass. Either one will take us to Minoc, and that is our goal. So, uh, we're just gonna be really careful, everybody. Is it nighttime? No, it's seven in the morning. It's just this, uh, this swamp. Stormy swamp. Oh, Jada, you stepped in the poison, you dummy. Oh no, I don't know what these things are. What are these? Spark's in trouble. Spark, get out of there. All right. Hey, you can pick up arrows you shot. Well, we're not in good shape. 
We're not in good shape at all. We've been attacked by slimes. This is a dangerous area. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to save. Uh, we're going to call this to my knock. All right. We're still alive. We're getting there. It's a dangerous travel. I don't like Jaina being poisoned, but I don't want to waste any resources on poisoning her. Uh, is this the other side of the lake? I think this is. Yeah, okay, so this is the edge of the lake. So let's just walk the edge of the lake for a minute. Avoid the swamp if we can. Hopefully Jaina will stop being poisoned soon. Oh, there's garbage! And what looks like blood. A body! Aw, uh, nothing on the body. I was hoping we'd find another collection. Again, we're looking for that key long term um, because... I just picked this trout up off the ground. Ooh, there's all just kind of... Hey, there's a body here. There's a lot of bodies here. What is this? Another body? Nothing in it. Oh, that's... Okay, there's trout here. There's all kinds of bodies everywhere here. All these poor fish. Ah, I see what's happening. So the fish are getting poisoned. And all these cats are eating the fish. And the cats are dying from eating the fish. This is actually pretty awful when you think about it. What we're seeing here. <gasps> what do we have? What do we have? A ring of protection. Can I reach this stuff? Can I get this? Okay, we got a potion. We've got some serpent venom. We've got some lock picks. Ooh, take those. We have a ring of protection. Give that to the avatar. And we have a starburst, which I think is a gem. We'll give that to Sentry since he's the gem man. Woo! Keeping our eyes peeled here. We're finding all kinds of stuff. Uh, Yolo's a little hungry. Jaina got over her poison, which is good. We've got an anchor here. Oh, man. Oh, no! Just everything is dying over here. Like, this is terrible. There's just a dead deer over here. Oh, my goodness. The state of this swamp area is awful. Hey, this alligator's been eating a bunch of stuff. So he's got some fish. Oh, the fish is too heavy. Oh, this is... Wait, is this a body too? Each one of these fish is a body. Okay. So, not you. Nothing there. Nothing there. Let's put this out here. Nothing inside of there. Nothing inside of there and nothing inside of there. Okay. What do we have here? Some garbage. Take that out. More garbage. Garbage. Uh, it looks like there's two other bodies in here. A body of another animal. And another one. But nothing inside of those. It's just the two bodies. Okay. Oh, we gotta keep our eyes out. I have a feeling we're gonna find the key inside of something else that ate it. But well, we're running out of places to look. Oh, wait, there's a whole river that comes down here. 
Oh, maybe this river comes from Minoc? And this is where the garbage is coming from. Mayhaps. Mayhaps that will explain how it's getting from Minoc into the lake. Alright, what do we have here? We've got a cart ford. Oh man, I wish I had slightly better maps. Oh! Let's go north. Keep traveling the footpath. Where did that ring go I grabbed? There it is. How do I wear the ring of protection? Do I put that on instead of gloves? Instead of gauntlets? Does that go on me? Is that it? Yes! Okay, so we can cut down a little bit of weight. That'll help. So I don't think rings of protection break. Uh, we want to keep going north. Uh, I have no idea where we are. We could use the sextant to find out... Oh! We're being attacked! We're no longer being attacked. It's okay, folks. We're fine. Oh! We're good. Uh, we better save our game. Again, it's okay if we wander a bit, because if we get lost, we can always cast a recall spell to go back to... Uh, um... Uh, what's it called? Uh, back to... What's it called? Good job, Grug. Um, we can always cast a recall spell to get back to Britain. Alright, so let's see. We got some signs. Britain. North. Uh, this little X thing. That's M... I... Is the little thing with X here the N? Yes. Minoc to the north. And this one... What is this symbol here. Oh, Vesper maybe? Uh, is that an S? Yeah, so Vesper. Um, Vesper is where we need to go to get the ship if we want to head to uh, what's it called? Uh, the Fire Island. Uh, but for now, let's go north. Keep heading towards Minoc. If we had a cart, we could probably go faster. Since obviously this is the way to go. Feed the avatar. Appears to be a little bit hungry. Ah, we're making it, folks. We are on our way to Minoc. We could probably run, but I'm afraid to run into combat and not be ready. Keep the party together. Move a little bit quickly here. Ooh, a branching path? No. Not a branching path. Uh, I'm going to get my map back up just for me to look at. You're not allowed to see it, apparently. Uh, is this going the right way? I mean, the sign said this is the way to my knife. Ooh, side path. Let's not get lost. <laughs> Let's not get lost. Just keep heading along the road like we're supposed to. Oh, headless ones! Uh, we are still a little injured. But I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Uh, what do we got here? Ooh, some gold nuggets. We can take those. Always can use some cash. Um, Sentry? Why is your bag always so full? Put this stuff where it belongs. Come on, man. Gold nugget, an arrow. Oh, ooh, that body over there. An arrow to give back to our buddy down here. We got here a sling and, ooh, some more gold nuggets. So we're making a little bit of cash. Maybe we don't need to carry as much food on us as we have been. We'll see. We'll see how the food supplies turn out. I'm worried about our ammo supplies, but I think, I think 
We may have made it to Minoc. Britannian Mining Association? Mining Company? Who knows? But we've made it! <gasps> we got gypsies! Oh yeah, we got gypsies. Oh yeah. Oh, we're supposed to get our fortune read, remember? Cool. So what do we have here? Uh, looks like the mining company. Looks like they have a locked chest. First thing we should do is save our game. And uh, let's see about this chest. We are not good enough to open this chest. Unfortunately. So that will have to wait. But let's see. What's in the desk? Aha! A key. Yeah, I know that's YOLO. I'd like to pick up this key. We used this one already. Ooh. Let's get this venom put in this bag where it belongs. Let's grab this blue key. What else do we have? Document. Some sealing wax. That's fine. Let's test out our new key right here. Yep. Hey. That is a lot. That is a lot of venom. Holy moly. Um, let's do this. Because we can take this venom back to the apothecary in Britain and get uh, quite some monies out of it. So let's start. I mean, it doesn't weigh a lot. Let's just haphazardly throw it in this bag that Jane has got. Take that with us. There we go. No one will be any the wiser. We got a book here. Britannian Mining Company. Iron ore, 30 tons. Load, lead, 24. Black rock, 2 tons. Lead, lead, iron ore. Black rock, 3 tons. Iron ore. So you don't get a lot of black rock um, for every... every other type of ore you get. Whew. Uh, okay, let's pull up uh, our... Let me find our Minoc map. Ooh, and figure out just where we are. There we go. So the town of Minoc, we are right here, just coming into town. I think we should probably talk to these gypsies. And I think we're going to go ahead and call the episode there after we talk to the gypsies outside. Um, and then next episode we'll explore Minoc proper. So here we have, you see a young bewitching gypsy woman with wise soul peering eyes. What's your name? Margareta. At thy service. What's your job? The gypsy woman smiles slightly to tell thy destiny. Tell me my destiny. The fortune will cost thee 20 gold. All right, sure. Margareta takes your money. The gypsy woman peers into her crystal ball. I see a woman standing by a shrine. She is in love with thee. I do not see more on this subject. Hmm. Crystal Ball is very murky. I see that thou must join the fellowship if thou wantest to learn more about them and discover their true nature. It is not very clear. Ah yes, there is a new evil that threatens Britannia. I see that thou shalt have to reckon with it in the future. The Crystal Ball tells me that the ether of the world, the substance that controls magic, has been affected by this new evil presence. I see further that this evil presence will gain greater power during an event in the near future. This event has something to do with the planets. Seek out a man at the observatory in Moonglow to learn more about this. I see that he has a device which will be very useful to thee. See him soon, for the event is drawing near. What is this? I see, I see. Thou dost see a man with a hook. 
he is not thy true adversary, but finding him will be necessary to complete thine ultimate quest. Wait! I see that thou must seek audience with the Time Lord. He is in trouble, although I cannot see what that trouble is. The Time Lord knows much about this new evil, so do not fail to seek him out. To find the Time Lord, thou must first meet the Wisps, who live in the forest of Yu. They are the best link to him. The monks of Empath Abbey know how to contact the Wisps. The ball has grown dark. I see no more. Margareta looks up at you and says, Thou dost face many dangers ahead. Take care. With those words, Margareta slumps and closes her eyes to rest. She is obviously exhausted. Holy moly! Well! Got our fortune read! That was a whole lot of stuff at once! Let's talk to these other two gypsy fellows. You see a swarthy gypsy with soulful eyes dressed in colorful clothes. He looks as if he has the weight of the world on his shoulders. What's your name, sir? I am Jerigi. Pleased to meet thine acquaintance. What's your job? I am King of the Gypsies. What about Margaret? Will she be okay? My wife is a, is a wise woman who has some of the necessary talents to see the future. Thou shouldst speak with her. Alright, tell me about the Gypsies. My people have almost completely died out in this world. Now that I am their leader, I am making their welfare my sole responsibility. Soon I will decide if we will leave Minoc. Why are you going to leave Minoc? Our people came here because we thought we would be accepted. It seemed that a very long time ago we were. But after these savage murders, it looks like it is time for us to roam once again. What murders? Federico was my only brother, and no one loved Tanya more than I did, save for Federico himself. What happened to them was unspeakable. I wish I could tell thee more. Thou wish that I may speak to Sasha, but only briefly. Now is the time for him to mourn. Whoa, okay. Federico. Some thought of my brother Federico as a harsh man. But those of us who knew him could see that he was simply governed by the same prides and passions that rule all gypsies. And Tanya? She was the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen. Both my brother and I were in love with her. We both tried to win her heart. I failed and thought that I would spend the rest of my life with no one. It was not until last year my wife Margaret and I were married and my secretly broken heart was mended. And Sasha? He is the son of Federico and Tanya. He left us to learn more about the Fellowship. Of course, he feels responsible for what happened. Why is he responsible? We do not blame Sasha for what happened. We will not punish him. Wow, tell me about the Fellowship. Sasha will have to decide if he wants to stay with his people or return to the Fellowship. I believe he will make the right choice. Huh, so you've all died out. We gypsies are people who live to wander, but there are fewer and fewer places where we are welcome. We are victimized by the ancient hatreds that have pl plagued our kind since the days of ancient Cesaria. And you were accepted. We have always been subject to the prejudices of others. We are called thieves and, hor and, and worse. But we are a people that only wish to play our music and dance and live in peace. I thought the people here understood this. All right, goodbye. Mayest thou have much fortune in thine endeavors. Let's talk to Sasha here, if he'll stop moving. You see a young gypsy lad. He is wearing a fellowship medallion. His eyes look down and his expression is one of extreme sorrow. My name is Sasha. Okay, what? I am too young to have a job. I am a gypsy as my parents were gypsies. I am also a member of the Fellowship. So why did you join the Fellowship? The Fellowship is the philosophical group devoted to the teachings of a truly great man named Balin in the absence of the Avatar. We've already seen this before. Except for this part. For the past week, I have been away from home doing work for the Fellowship. All right, well, how about your parents? My parents, Federica and Tanya, were murdered. I do not know why anyone would want to harm them. The words choke out of the boy. Suddenly he is overwhelmed by grief and is unable to speak further. Tell me about the murders, boy. It happened at the sawmill in Minoc. It's not good. I have returned to be with Margaret and, and Jergi to grieve for my parents. They did not approve of my joining the Fellowship, but I know that they were concerned out of love for me 
just as I loved them. Tell me about Margarita. She's very wise and knows many things, but when I asked her if I should go back to the Fellowship or stay with them, she did not answer me. And Jergi? He was my father's brother. He is a good man and wise. Now he is the leader of our people. He will do what is right for us. And philosophy? The Fellowship teaches a philosophy. Do you want to join? Yes. Go talk to Balin. Alright, bye. The lad stoically nods and turns away. Oh. Hmm. Well, I tell you what, is this garbage? Are you just throwing garbage on the ground? Gypsies. Oh! Oh, we got a gypsy wagon full of stuff. What do we got? Empty bag. Empty bag. This is not as exciting as I thought it was going to be. This is a gypsy wagon full of nothing. That's depressing. Well, um, I'll tell you what. Let's check. We're at 30 minutes. Let's go look at the sawmill real quick. Where these murders took place. Oh, nope. That's going to be a bunch of dialogue. Let's save. And when we come back in the next episode of Game with Grug, we'll check out the sawmill where these murders happened that sound like they might be the same as the murders that occurred uh, to um, Intrinsic. And we will also continue to investigate all of Minoc. We'll do that in the upcoming episode. Until then, I want to say thanks for watching. Please tell your friends. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, we hope to see you soon.